Trinity Care Hospice provides compassionate care to families in their homes throughout Los Angeles and Orange Counties. Specially trained nurses, doctors, social workers, non-denominational chaplains, home health aides, and volunteers work together with each family 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so that those we care for can live well and die gently. Uh, two years ago, Stephen noticed that he had um, some symptoms, like uh, his foot was dropping and uh, had slowing of speech. And so um, when he went to have that checked out, they diagnosed him with um, ALS. He can't speak. Right, so he always writes. At this, you know, at this point, he's still able to. He's definitely wheelchair bound. He, um, he still, he does manage to get out sometimes, you know, go to mo he goes to movies still and gets out. Um, I noticed last week when I was here that um, he was losing a little bit of muscle control in his neck because his head was tilting, although it looks better today. Um, he has trouble breathing sometimes, especially when he's sleeping and laying down and he has to be on a BiPAP machine, um, which assists him in his breathing. Five days a week, an aide comes and you know gives him a bath. And and uh, how many times do you have a massage? And then once a week, somebody comes to give a massage. And uh, um, Stephen said that that just makes him feel great, feel feel better. You know, feels he likes feeling clean. And the massage kind of re reduces some of the stress. One of the things we talked about was is, is he afraid of dying and afraid of well afraid of death? And he said he wasn't because he knows there's better places to go to. As he said today, one of the things that living this way has been torturous for him. His food intake is, is primarily through a feeding tube. You know, we, we were talking about all different kinds of options of how to proceed. And, um, and I told him that I would, uh, as a chaplain, I would support him in whatever decisions he made. My name is Amber Cole. My husband was David Cole. Uh, David was diagnosed with uh, cancer. Um, he had a tumor behind his right eye that uh, was creating double vision, and that's how they found it. David's prognosis when they saw him was that they were going to remove the tumor, um, do radiation, and then followed by chemotherapy, and that he had a good chance of being cured. That was a prognosis at that time, and that prognosis changed. Hospice was very humane, and from the moment they came in here, they treated David like the wonderful human being he was, and um, they were very helpful to me and the kids. And they were a constant source of comfort. Um, I knew that they were there, and I could call them, and people came in, and they took care of all of David's needs for me, and it actually, was probably as much of a help to me as it was to David at that time. The hospice brought over a woman who's involved in the program who did a project uh, with the kids. It was a handprint project where um, the kids and, uh, put their handprints on a tree of life, essentially, and um, David's hands are on it, and my hands, and the kids' hands, and their aunt and uncle's hands. So it was quite a lovely uh, project for them to do together. The experience with hospice was very positive. My only regret is that we didn't do it sooner. My name is Gertrude Stone. I was diagnosed with lung cancer. So they sent me for CAT scan and I went there with, with my husband. And then they called me and they said, the cancer, it's cancer, and it's terminal. So, I didn't even know what hospital was then. Anyhow, I said, what he said, he said, well, then you get all your medication, and the doctor, and the nurse, and everything comes in your house. You don't have to come to me. Doctor already said, why should you come here to me? 
just because I gave you the pills in something, it's not fair for you. You're not supposed to drive from your home up to see me. I think you're supposed to be at hospital. Hospital meant a lot to me because they did all this for me. Because if I didn't have them, I still had to run to my doctors. But with them, I don't have to go anywhere. The service with Hospic is excellent, very good. I got no complaint for nobody. My name is Josephine Bustamante. G. Bustamante. I was diagnosed with cancer in the pancreas and liver. Oh, they've been wonderful. They've done so much for me. They are constantly taking care of me, constantly asking me what I need and provide my needs. And always, someone always with me, every day. They've taken real good care of me. I call, I call them and they are right there for me. Well, I don't know what I would do really because I, I, I'm, I, don't, I didn't know anything about cancer. They have explained the cancer to me that I don't have to ask questions from, no, from, from nobody, but I understand it more that my, of my d disease than I had before. I'm very, very grateful to them because I haven't done without, without anything. As soon as I, if I feel anxiety, if I feel any pain or anything, all I do is call them and, and the medicine is right here. <laughs>